Oh, hoy there. Here we are with another fantastic quarantine edition of uh, Two Funny Fat Guys, uh, live here in my dining room. So, um, joining me tonight is the lovely Rachel, my There's wife. And what is the uh, hint here? A land where hips don't lie, but sloths sure do. <laughs> okay, so what does that mean to anyone here? Shakira, Shakira. Absolutely. Um, sloth, that's a Peyton spirit animal, is it not? She said that her stuff sloth is wears a uh, creepy onesie. <laughs> so, uh, sloth. You cried when the one guy eat on a major show. I was pregnant! Oh, I was wrong. Today's Young Box is brought to you by Columbia, which you would think that with, um, the coffee and cocaine that comes out of Colombia, the point of Colombia is to wake up the rest of the world. Kitty, what's your connection to Colombia? Colombia, when I was a senior in high school, I had a young man named Daniel Orozco. Uh, he lived with us, he was from Cali, Colombia. So I might be able to pinpoint some of these snacks that his mom would send up to us for us to snack on, and they were awfully delicious. Nice kid? Very nice kid. Okay, so Colombia's a South American country. Um, we just went from Thailand, and we came jetting back across the Atlantic um, from east to west, and here we are in Colombia. And if I recall back into our yum travels over the last so many months. We've already experienced Columbia before. Yeah, um, I want to say that we have. But I believe there are some different things going on in this box. But this first one, it's a passion fruit lollipop, which I specifically remember from getting the last Yum box. Okay. And it's a tropical outside with a bubblegum inside. So I'm going to let's, instead of starting there, we should probably finish, so it's got some gum to chew at the end, you know? Okay. So we'll come back. Oh, there's only two of them. Oh, thank God. I don't, I don't have to have one. Uh, not great for my blood sugar. So let's start off with the uh, milk chocolate nougat bar. Columbia's tastier cake on the three muskets here. Okay. So the Bianchi bar? Yep. Bianchi's also a company that makes... Uh, Gun products, I'm sure they're not related here, but <clears throat> and like I said, this stuff was in my trunk, so it is probably a little chilly and so, uh, chilly. Not uh, <laughs> so you said this they're taking on three musketeer mm -hmm. this? Oh, definitely. It's definitely not three musketeer chocolate. But this has 95% cocoa, mm -hmm. so it's a dark chocolate. And, and I, I like dark chocolate myself. I think I think this is very good. Yeah, I could do these. Next, we have white chocolate cookies and cream clusters. Same company, Yaki. About this cookies and cream. Crisp cookie bites full of rich white cocoa. Every hero has their origin story. For the super company behind Columbia Santa's Bianchi brand, the story starts in 1948. So the world is done uh, finishing a humongous war, and they say we need a delicious snack. So cookies and cream, white cocoa. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Thailand. Columbia is kicking your ass right now. They are two for two. A lot like the soccer match would be. <laughs> Kickboxing, though? Mm. Okay. We get off the sweet drain, like we would normally do, and we are going to a more savory snack. To mayonnaise potato chips. There we say Colombians are mayonnaise magicians. That sounds like something dirty, dude. They've invented countless variations from the seafood ready ketchup and mayo combo on the salsa rosada to the garlic cilantro style mayo. Typically paired with fried plantains. Now, I like mayo. 
mayonnaise as much as the next dude. I like mayonnaise. However, mayonnaise does not like it. <laughs> Cheers. That's good. It's good. It's not like a mouthful of mayonnaise. Like, very subtle. Yeah. I think only in America do we do very the flavor blasting. Just punching the place with flavor every time. I think we notice in a lot of other countries, it's way more subtle flavors. With the exception of Germany, with those lemon zing bars and their shite. You know, yeah, that's. <laughs> All okay, right. yeah, that was good. That wasn't bad. That's better than you thought it was going to be, huh? Cafe Conlish Toffee. Creamy Colombian toffee in a super soft shoe. Those guys. Oh, double wrap. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that's what I want out of Colombia. I wanted the strong, dark coffee. I wanted a... I've had coffee out here so close so far. <laughs> it wasn't pumpkin spice. One thing Colombia does better than mayo. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> they have 560,000 Arabic coffee farms. There's Arabic coffee farm in Colombia. So it's a coffee caramel. It was hard, but it was cold. It's it's 25 degrees here. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah. It would have been 70 degrees mm -hmm. and much softer. That would have been great. Still, Colombia on the winning train. Oh, yeah. And I don't think we're going to get too far off here with coconut cream chocolate wafer. Oh. Coconuts are actually... Is that it? No. Oh, so we're back to a wafer. A wafer. Which seems to be like the universal thing. Like, if I'm in another country and I need, like, I'm going to hold some wafers. Like, hey, I like these. <coughs> I, get, I do notice that if we're staying along the uh, equator, coconut is another common flavor that we're staying with. Okay, so what is this? Is coconut cream? Coconut cream. I don't even have to take a bite of it to tell you I don't like it. <laughs> I really like coconut. Again, it's not bad. But if I wanted to chew on some suntan lotion, I would just go to the beach. It makes me think of Barbies. We used to have that smell like that. <laughs> and the chocolate wafer, there's no chocolate there. It's No, no. It's uh, mostly coconut wafer. It is definitely overpowering with the coconut. Next, we have the Fruity Penguin Gummies. Sour foam gummies and juicy oh, fruit oh. flavors. I think Rachel was really excited for the penguin gummy because she like, almost had this open the moment the box came in. Okay, no, I can't do it. Imagine eating a penguin with <laughs> like, some like uh, buffalo penguin wings and watching the game. I bet their wings aren't that big because they don't actually use them. Y'all, it is an adorable little penguin. And we're about to eat their faces off. Oh, absolutely. These things are cute. With blue and white penguins with yellow beaks. And, and they, they call it sour foam, too. Oh, that was a foam texture. That's accurate. It's not like gummy like a gummy bear. It's like eating a sponge. It's good, though. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, I would be cold back with those. All right. I don't know why the penguin is something in a Colombian box. Or... Yeah, you'd think that'd be a little further south. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh,
Next, we have La Nina bacon and lime chips. Puffed bacon chips with zingy lime. So we have a couple of La Nina products. This must be a very popular uh, brand for us. Y'all realize I wanted that before this, right? Me too. Me three. Dude, I remember these. Yep. Yeah. So it looks like little bacons. And if I remember right, these are really limey. Rachel? Yeah, those are really limey. But not bad. No, not horrible. Cool. What? That's really bad. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Life Nest Corn Puffs. What flavor? But when you Himalayan Sea Salt Quinoa Puffs. Quinoa. Quinoa is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't vote. Well, then, could you say it again? Okay, so it's it's a puff. It looks like a Cheeto. Quinoa is a, a hipster grain. It's an ancient grain. And the Himalayan him size of corn. It tastes like nothing. Yeah, I didn't get anything there. It was it's just a puff. sea salt. Okay. That's all it is. It's a sea salt puff. Okay. That's exactly what it is. Despite it's like a tasteless Cheeto that just has a little salt to it. Despite the sea not touching the Himalayans. Okay. KT, my bad, I lost it on that wrist. All right. The next one is Kolkata's. Colombian coconuts, rich milk caramels with fresh coconut. 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 These. I'm straight up telling you, I'm not going to like it. <coughs> yeah, there was a day you were afraid to try sushi and look at you now. You need some weird animals. Rachel, spill one with me. Open one, spill one with me. What is the city? What is it? it? It's coconut what? It's uh, rich milk caramel with fresh coconut. I can't get it open. Here, I think we can do this three ways on this one. It's got the consistency of a cliff bar. It's dense, y'all. It's heavy. Lord Jesus, the my It's like a seven layer bar. Made it happen. Wah, wah, wah. I'm out. I'm gonna hard pass on that. I think I remember these ones too. White chocolate covered fruit gummies. That's what's up in the next time. Yes. I remember these. Yeah, these are good. You like these. <laughs> I did. Yeah, then one of the days that you came in here, like, what is this? And oh, it's good. Girls, 15th birthday celebrated. You said that? Fun starts with a father daughter waltz and ends with a crazy hour. And guess where Wacky Mouse and Blow Whistle. <laughs> you couldn't have made that up. Like, rig whistles? Okay, that's better. Yeah, it's a gummy and a hard candy shell. Not a fan. We have two things left? Three things left. Two. Two. It should have three. We have the suckers. Or else. Or else the, it says we're supposed to have two drinks on the plantain chips. So first one is going to be the, the uh, green and green bag. That day the day long. Lime infused plantain chips. So lime infused small banana chips. I bet they're good.
No, I like banana chips. I like plantain chips. I don't care for the lime if you use plantain chips. You nah. lose your bet. I lost my bet. It's I didn't cover the spread. It's an awkward line. So the next one is sweet plantain chips. Based on Columbia's most beloved side dish. The plantains are a beloved side dish? Apparently. This was better. Oh, it's fucking awful. But not good. Not good at all. And Would you like the, the I, I passion fruit blow pop? I 100% know I like that already. We already reviewed those in another Yum Box before. I won't. Of course. So, that later. it's very good. I'm going to, I will they were refresh good. remember. They're very they good. But, like, we're trying to pile through a bunch. We don't need to sit here sucking on a lollipop for five minutes. <laughs> Rachel, what was your favorite thing in the box? The white chocolate thingies. The cookies and cream chocolate oh, thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine was definitely the uh, coffee caramel cream chew thing. I wanted to take that, but I knew you were going to take that, so I'm probably going to go with the fruity penguin gummies. Those were good. They were very they were, good. They were boom with with the white chocolate covered fruit gummies coming in as a good fourth place finisher. Because all of the things you mentioned were all good. So what was your least favorite? Mine? Um, I'm going to go with the uh, corn puff because there was no flavor to it. But it's not supposed to have flavor. It's supposed to be salty. I care for That's it. all it is, is salt. So I can't, I like I can't complain it. I got the plantain lot. chips are going to be tied for last and last for both plantain chips. Yeah, the lime ones, and maybe I just don't like lime things, but yeah, that wasn't wasn't great. And then the coconut thing. Yeah, I knew you guys were gonna I, I knew Rachel say something about coconut. The coconut caramel too that she doesn't care for. You know, I was able to eat a little bit of it, but the wafer thing, I put my mouth on it and I could already taste the coconut and I was like, no. Gross. I can't believe you're my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and let me wrap up quick. Partially because we've already done Columbia. But all in all a good box. All in all a good box. Like Columbia. Didn't have anything truly awful in it, in my eyes. Not like sand country. Not like that baklava that we got from wherever, or the Turkish delights. The rose flavored candy. Rose. I, I thought it was like just like fruity. They called it rose. No, it tasted like a rose petal. Yeah. We it was red Narnia. And they're like, has anybody ever had one of these? And I was like, they're awful. <laughs> C.S. Lewis, kiss my ass. No. <laughs> um, Ready, man. Kiss my <laughs> ass. Last wish world road. Great show. So, uh, yeah, um, Columbia, all to win. Uh, my knowledge of Columbia was coffee, cocaine, apparently Shakira, and the lady from Modern Family. Other than that, um... Jay's wife is Colombian from Modern Family. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Very great show. Gay couple. Love it. Um, I got 747 by that. <laughs> and then I, I knew TV had a uh, foreign exchange student that they hosted from Columbia, and he has always spoke very highly of that young man, so. I believe we talked about him in the last time we about it. Right, right, right. Oh, that's a win. You know, uh, oh, that chocolate you bought, that was good. Too. The Colombian, uh, yeah, the Colombian here. Three Musketeer was pretty good. So, yeah, thank you for joining us for uh, Two Funny Fat Guys and Funny Girl. Um, we'll close up this one. we got a little bit more work to do. Uh, thank you. Have an excellent night and enjoy your quarantine.